Hi guys, welcome to this channel, Electrical Guide. My name is John, and in case you are just tuning in for the first time, don't forget to click on subscribe, click on the notification bell, so that you will not miss out of any new video I release. In this channel, we'll talk about basic things in electrical and also design and some practical that can help you. Uh, today we are going to look at relay and the basic principle of relay or uh, what's happening internally in the relay. So we we'll start from 4 pin then we will go to 11 pin relay and like that. So stay tuned and relay is a switch device. A switch device. This is a relay and this is another relay as you see in our previous uh, video. And among other type of relay, we have two common type of uh, relay. We have the we have the elect electro mechanical relay. Then two, we have the solid state relay this electromechanical relay has a physical moving part and the solid state relay has no physical moving parts just like your transistor then this one is called electromechanical relay and this is the one we are going to talk about it's the one we are going to talk about is an electromechanical relay because it has a moving part which makes it mechanical and it has the electrical part as the coil. So that's why it's called electromechanical relay. This electromechanical relay can also be classified into various uh, type. One by the voltage voltage uh, capacity. Then two by the contact capacity. Then three by the pin configuration. By the pin configuration. When we talk about the voltage capacity, this relay have various types of uh, voltages at this when i say voltage we are talking about the voltage that can energize the coil when you have the coil like this so some take 12 volts dc to energize this coil some take 24 volts DC to energize this coil, while others take uh, 230 volt AC to energize the coil. So when I say the relay is a DC relay, it means it's a DC voltage that can energize this coil to trigger the contact. Then in DC voltage, we have 12 volt DC 
and 24 volt DC. So it now depends on the area of your application. For example, look at this relay. You see DC 24 volt 20 amps. So means this type of relay I'm holding uses this to trigger the contact. You use this to energize the coil and trigger the contact. If you give it 24 volts, you cannot trigger it. And if you if you give it 12 volts, sorry, you cannot trigger it. And if you give it give 230 volt AC, it will burn the coil. So that is voltage classification by voltage uh, capacity. Then we'll go to number two. Number two, which is the contact capacity. The contact capacity, when you see a relay contact, it can be 10 amps DC, it can be 20 amps DC, it can be 40 amp DC. It can be 70 amps DC and it can also be 10 amps AC. When I say this contact is 10 uh, amps DC, it means the maximum DC current that can flow through this contact when it closes is 10 amps. And when I say 20 amps, it means the rating is 20 amps because it's only the, uh, the, uh, the rating is 20 amps means the maximum current that can flow through this contact is 20 amps. So this is what you consider when you want to select your relay for your design. A relay can be triggered by DC and the contact is rated in a AC capacity because you can pass AC current through the contact. We are still going down to talk about uh, the part of the, of the relay. Okay. Then three, we talk about the pin configuration, number three. The pin config, configuration. Classification by pin configuration as some relays are 4 pin, 4 pin, we have 11 pin, we have uh, 12 pin, I mean sorry, 11 pin, we have 4 pin, different uh, numbers of pin and we we'll have it also as single pole single pole single true we have double pole double true we have single pole we have double true so these are what you also consider when you want to select your relay for your design like this one, this is this is a four pin relay. This relay has only one contact. Only normally open. This is eleven pin uh, relay. Eleven pin relay. In this play this this one we have eleven pin two pin for the coil. Then the nine pin, three pin for the common, then six for the contact. That is three normally open and three normally close. Okay.
This relay is divided into two parts. Number one is the coil, the coil side. Then two is the contact, contact side. Okay. But before we go into this uh, part, I want us to understand the symbols, some simple symbols in a, a relay. We have the normally open and the normally closed contact. So this is NO, normally open. This is NC, normally close. You can also have it like this. Normally open, you can also have it like this. For those of us that did a, a PLC, you see something like this. Normally close. In a design, you can also see like this. Normally open, then you can also see like this. This is normally close, close contact. So, uh, we are going to see how we come about this. Normally open in the relay, you don't need to crack your brain, means the state, what is the state before anything, before voting can be applied to that uh, relay, at least when nothing is being applied, what is the normal state before, so this is for normally open, it's called normally open because you, this contact is open when no voltage has been applied to the coil and this one remains closed when no voltage is applied to the coil relay will operate in the opposite state when you apply power that is when you apply power to the relay the normally open will change states to, to close while the close will change states to open so this is just the simple logic we we'll still get there for you to know very well about relay and when you know about relay you see how you are going to make your design perfect so let's start with the simple relay a popping relay like I told you relay is divided into two parts the coil part and the contact part with the symbol this is um, the contact and this is the coil this is the contact and this is the coil this part up is quite different from this one down one, two, three, four. This coil can be 24 volt DC. And this contact can be 10 amp AC. Means you can power this relay with a DC voltage. Why a an AC voltage pass through the AC current pass through the contact that is here you have your message what you want to pass so you can energize it by DC why AC pass through the contact this DC has nothing to do with the contacts so when this coil is being energized you only 
drag these contacts to close. Then whatever signal or message you have here, then you can now pass to the other side. So this is the coil side and this is the contact uh, side. So the contact can also be, I uh, mean uh, the coil can also be AC, that is your 230 volt will be applied here, 230 volt AC will be applied here, while your message can be a DC, boat, a, a, a DC uh, signal. It can also be just a continuity. So it depends on what you want to pass as the, as the contact. So this is the two part of the relay. The coil and the contact. So two important things you need to know in selecting your relay is that what is the voltage in my circuit? What do you want to use to energize your relay? When you get that, then you select the voltage that you need to energize the coil. Then what is the capacity of the current passing through the contact? On what signal? Is it an AC signal or a DC signal? What is your message passing through there or just uh, a dry contact? So when you know that, then you'll be able to select this. Is it your AC is uh, you want to pass through you want to pass a AC signal of uh, seven amps? Then you can select ten amps uh, contact. So this is a two part of the uh, relay. So now we are going to see what happened in the internally in the relay so i'll make my drawing like this this is the contact then we have the coil So this is pin one, this is pin two, this is pin three, this is pin four. So what happened is this, when you apply your voltage here, for example 12 volts, this is here. it will energize this coil and when you energize this coil then magnetic field is being set up then it will drag this contact to drag this contact when you drag this down at least this one will magnet here then this contact will close with this then whatever message you have here can pass be able to cross to the other side so this is just a contact this has no polarity you can pass your message from here you can pass from here so but internally this is what oh, this is what happened that is the relay when the coil is being energized by your voltage then the contact will close and when you de-energize the contact will open so there is a spring connected a spring connected to this so when this coil is being de energized that is you have removed the supply from here and here or from one one end then the magnetic uh, field setup will disappear or lost then the spring up here will drag this contact back then the contact will be open so this is the system this is what happened internally in the relay like this is a four pin relay you can see the coil just like you can see the coil this is the coil this is the spring this is the spring at the back the spring then this is the coil 
you see this coil is connected here then sorry this is the coil is connected here and this thing this is the coil and this is the moving part so whenever this coil is energized then you drag this to close the contact and when you close this contact whatever you have here can pass to this place that is when this contact is closed then when the coil is de-energized then the contact will open it will open mechanically that is this spring will drag it to open so this is what happens internally in your relay the same thing to other relay for this first video in the second video we are going to look at a relay that is more than a four pin in the four pin relay four pin relay two pin are for contact why two pin are for coil in any type of relay first thing you know two pin majorly is for the coil why others are for uh, contact so we count it as coil and uh, contact in other relay you will see normally open normally close because you see some other contact that uh, the other contact is closed but in this four pin relay we have only normally open there is no uh, normally close and it's normally open because before you apply any voltage or any supply to the coil the contact has been opened down that's what we call a uh, normally uh, open